Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I solve the 4x4x6. Let's scramble it up now. So that looks good. I begin by solving this like a 4x4. Four four. So first of all, I make this, I solve the centers. I'm going to begin with the orange one. And that's that. And now I'm going to do the red one. And now the white one. And the yellow one. And now the final two. And there we go, that's the centre solved. Now I move on and do edge pairing. And I pair the ones that have the two stickers on them, not these inside edges, the ones on the outside. And now the final two. And there we go, that's the edges all paired up. And now we solve it like a 4x4, four four, well like a 3x3, three three, sorry. So we solve the cross on the bottom. So there you go, that's the cross the centre, these edges and these edges. And now we do the first two layers, the F2L.
And now we do the OLL. Fix the parity. Finish the OLL. And now we do the permutation. I made a mistake there somewhere. And now the corners. And there we go, that's just left these two slices here. To begin solving these, we first of all pair up these inner edges. And to do this, we look at this one, and we see it's green. And we're going to rotate it around so it's here. So we, so we have to put a green one next to it. So if we do this, it's going to there, and there will be a green one next to it. So we do that. And now we need to move that out the way. So we move it into the side, and we swap it with one that hasn't been solved. And then rotate them back. That's just left two. And to solve these, you've got this blue one here, it's going to come around to here, so it'll be next to this one. And now what we need to do is we need to swap these for a pair that's yellow. So there's one here. So we swap them and rotate it back. And now it solves exactly like a 3 by 3 by 2 if you don't know how to solve that, I'll show you the method I use. First of all, I look at the corners in the layers and swap them so they're all in the correct layers. So I need to swap this one, and this one, and this one with three in this layer. And that would be this one, and this one. So if we swap these two, that just leaves this one needing to be swapped with this one. And there we go, that is the correct corners in the layers. And now we look at these pieces here. And we see we have the correct we have the correct colours in this layer. And now we use the algorithm I showed you in my 3x3x9 tutorial to solve this. So I'm going to begin by swapping this piece with this piece. And that's right to up, right to up inverted seven times, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you do R2, and now these two are in the correct places. And now we're going to be swapping this one and this one. And there you go. That is these inner edges solved. 
and now we hold the, it upside down so that this layer we've just worked on is on the bottom and we begin to solve these um, edge pieces so I'm going to begin by swapping this one with this one and that's the same algorithm again and now I'm going to swap these two and now I'm going to swap these two and there we go now it's just this layer to be solved before we move on to that we check we haven't rotated any of the, the sides if you have, you, you fix that by doing R2, U2, R2, U2, R2 and it would look like this but I hadn't rotated any so I will fix that and now we solve this layer in the same way we did before so we swap this piece and this piece Now this piece and this piece. And there we go. Now we just need to work on these edge pieces. So if we swap these two. and then swap these two and there you go that is how I solve the 4x4x6 if you found this helpful leave a comment and let me know what you think and I will see you all in my next video thanks for watching